I'm joined now by Deborah. Deborah, it's a fantastic turnout and what a great cause. Yeah, it's fine. It is fantastic. A bit overwhelming when I first came to the top of the stairs to see uh, lots of uh, old faces who I've not seen for a long time and all, you know, friendly faces. But yeah, we're doing Gary really proud. It's Burnley. Well, he's still in there fighting. Just give us an update because I'm sure all the Burnley fans will want to know how Gary's progressing. Yeah, he's, he is progressing. It's very slow. He's, he's got a, a, a massive climb, but uh, even just today I've, I've made progress with him because we've been outside for the first time in uh, six months. So oh, that's really? great. Yeah, the, yeah. this morning he's been outside, which has uh, gave me a bit of a buzz before I came here. I've told him all about tonight. So uh, he's, he's progressing. He's obviously paralysed, but each week you see a different sign in terms of you know body movement and there's like fingers moving last week and you know and he's still got that you know bit of jolly in him when you have a bit of a crack with him he chuckles and then gets upset as well when you're leaving and that so yeah there's in his features as well you can see the signs that he's coming back to him so yeah it's going to be a long road but hopefully he'll be fine and events like this everybody rallying together it's all for a fantastic course it is and it's brilliant i mean the club's been fantastic to, you know veronica has uh, put on this and to see some of the old faces especially jimmy mullen people like that who i played with as well and he managed me it's great to see all these people back and supporting the cause so it looks like a great turnout and hopefully it's a great night jimmy uh, just caught you catching pictures of gary there in the 94 final all the memories that you have of burnley yeah well it all comes flooding back when you see things like that and you know on the day you know, to see Gary score that goal, I mean, it was absolutely unbelievable. And to, uh, for us to get promotion into the championship was an unbelievable day. And, uh, you know, to just to see them, them pictures again is, is fantastic. Joined now by Clark Carlisle and Graham Alexander. Fantastic course today, Jen. Oh, well, yeah, fantastic course and a magnificent turnout. You know, it's... Uh, it's a measure of, of how much a guy is respected when you see, you know, all of his uh, former colleagues and friends turn out in such numbers to, to support his course. And you both remember Parky. You, you probably more than Clarky, I guess, in many ways. Remember Parky as the player? Yeah, yeah, because um, I joined Preston because you're older than me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I joined Preston because of actually because of Parky's injury. Yeah, um, he got he injured his knee and he was out for a year. So they obviously needed someone to play right back in that time, and you know he was out for a long while, but he was. Uh, he was always chipper around the change room, like always having the banter. He was, he was great to have about. And then when he finally got fit, it was great to have him back in the squad. You know, he was obviously a popular figure with the with the lads before I got there. You know, because everyone was really chuffed to see him get back from the, what was a really bad injury. And um, you know, and he he went on to play for a good few years after that. So it's um, no, he's a good he's a good lad, Parking. It's uh, it's a terrible shame what's happened to him. Someone as young as that as well. It's it's a real shock to the system when you all hear about this, isn't it? Exactly. You know, uh, we all think we're invincible, and you know, and. You are, aren't you? <laughs> no, well, you know, what happened to Parky, you know, it's, it proves that everyone's fallible and um, we have to look at that and put our, our lives in perspective and our problems, you know, where uh, you worry about some trivial things at times and when you see something like that with a, a great lad who's got a, a family of his own and it, it puts it in perspective and we're just happy to, to be here and support uh, Parky on this night. It's the strangest illness I've heard of, this locked-in syndrome, but Gary's aware of everything that's spatially around him, isn't he? Oh, yeah, he's fully, he's fully aware, yeah, he, cognitive, he's, he's yeah, aware of everything. He can hear, he can see, he uh, just cannot communicate back, apart from with his eyes blinking up and down, uh, which is frustrating for Gary. Uh, and frustrating for you all, I guess. Yeah, yeah it is, yeah. We, we try to communicate with him with the alphabet, uh, so it's very slow, um, you know, and, of course, Gary, being witty as he is, he wants to just answer back, but... It'll be a long road back for Gary, but he's aware of what's going on for him, oh, uh, not yeah. just at Burnley, but at all his clubs, I guess. Yeah, that's right, yeah, all, his, all Gary's former clubs have been great, you know, supporting all of us, really. Uh, that's fantastic. How was it when you heard the news, of course? It. I couldn't believe it. I mean, you know, a fine young athlete, a, a, you know, a lad who's prided himself on being a fit lad and looked after himself, and uh, he's been a, you know, a top-class professional footballer and uh, you know to end up in the situation where he's and it ended up now is a very very sad situation and I just hope that uh, you know tonight will be a, hopefully a, a, a good cause to help towards uh, getting them better. It's quite a tragedy what's happened to Gary. Let's hope he can make a really good recovery. I believe the recovery has started. We try to follow his progress, but his wife and his, his three children need some help, and that's where we come together as a club and try to provide a little bit of help. Don't be surprised that Eddie's here. 
that Clark's here because it doesn't matter. As, as soon as you join this club, within 18 months, within six months, you're part of the family. And in closing, I'm guessing it just completes a nice weekend because you were on the pitch yesterday doing the half-time draw yeah. and a fantastic ovation. Yeah, it was. That, that, that was very touching. I found that quite difficult, really, to cope with. But, um, again, the, you know, the fans are fantastic. It really is. I told Gary this morning and got quite upset about it because said that they're calling you a Lancashire legend, which is, yeah, Gary found that emotional. Hello, this is David Moyes at Everton here. I'd just like to say a few words about Gary Parkinson. Gary was a, was a player who worked under me when I was manager at Preston North End. He also played with him when I was, a, was still a player, which seems a long time ago now at Preston. But Gary was a, was a really good lad, a hard-working lad, a funny lad in the dressing room, someone who we all enjoyed. And unfortunately, he's, a he's had a terrible accident. I've been up to see Gary now two or three times. Uh, every time I go up, you know, I come away feeling great that I've looked at him, I've seen him, he is improving. You have to sit and talk to Gary and you, he, he communicates through his eyes, he talks to you in his own way. And I think there's, I've not had more pleasure than seeing Gary laughing a couple of times, giggling, which he does. So you know that he understands, he can take everything in. And it's really important that he gets support from everybody, uh, even people speaking to him. But if you can help him and his family, it'd be really important. It's going to be a tough time for Debbie, his wife and his family. She's doing great. I met her at the hospital not too long ago. And it must be difficult for her going up all the time to see her, see her husband after being a, a man who's been fit and healthy for so long. He's someone who I think about my prayers, someone who uh, I really hope we can find a solution that he can, he can get better and come out of the condition he's in. If you can help him and his wife, it would be truly appreciated by them all. No, not much. And we just hope that everybody's praying for him, thinking about him, and that someday we can get Gary back. I think, first and foremost, uh, I'd like to remember Parky with a smile on my face, really, to the point of um, when we played together as in, in a back four at Middlesbrough. He um, was the life and soul of that back, back four, really. I was probably a little bit serious, and yet Parky playing right on my right hand side just to sort of look after me a little bit with his mobility and his power and his speed and um, you know, he was a joy to play alongside. I think his fondest memories of him raking long range efforts at goal, I think he was famous for the for the power in his backside he would say. And, uh, some of us had other other thoughts on Parky's where Parky's power came from. But and yet he was, you know, he was as I say, really happy times, happy memories, great um, Success the team had with with the, with the Parkinson, and Mowbray, Palace, the Cooper back four, and um, um, you know, and, and that era lives long in the the memory of, of the players who played with the supporters of the town as well. And um, you know, we wish Parky well. Um, as I say, my my thoughts of of Gary are of a happy, smiling guy who was enjoying what he was doing really, and um, being part of a winning, successful team. Hi, Owen Coyle, manager of Bolton Wanderers. Uh, just a Pass on my sincere thanks to everybody that's that's helping uh, in the game and, and all the fundraising with regards Gary Parkinson, who I played with at Bolton. And I think we all know how good a player he was and how good a man he is. A great family man, and uh, which is very important as well. So anybody that's put any work into it, absolutely got to be applauded for all your efforts. And I'm sure it'll be a huge success. Uh, and I look forward to playing a small part. It's a message from Phil Brown, manager of Preston North End. And it's to um, Deborah Parkinson and Gary Parkinson in particular, who I fortunately played with at Bolton Wanderers. Gary's unfortunately um, out of the game at the moment through through injury and illness and whatever you want to call it. But um, it would be nice if we can all get behind the Gary Parkinson fund and support it as best we possibly can. Uh, and all the best to Deborah and her family. Thank you. On behalf of everyone at Burnley Football Club, I'd just like to send our best wishes to Gary Parkinson. Um, even in my short time here, I've been made aware um, of what a fantastic player he was for Burnley Football Club and for all he achieved here um, and a fantastic career at a number of other clubs as well. So all our thoughts are with you, Gary. Um, I'd like to wish um, you all the best for the future. I'd also like to urge everybody to get behind the fundraising events taking place at the moment. Gary, we're all rooting for you. We're all behind you and good luck for the future.